Today, we're gonna take another trip to Asia and do a Korean-inspired beef in a slow cooker. Welcome back to The Average Kitchen. Thanks for tuning in. Make sure you hit the like, subscribe, notification bell. We appreciate the support. So today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a pretty simple, easy, Korean-inspired beef in a slow cooker. So you'll see in front of me, I've got some beef here, some red onion, soy sauce, brown sugar, garlic, beef broth, gochujang, sesame oil, and sambal leek, and as well as some corn uh, starch in a bag here. So we're gonna put the whole uh, ingredient list and the, um, the measurements in the description below. So I'm just gonna start it real quick by chopping up some red onion. Got half a red onion here. Okay, so we're gonna start adding our ingredients to our slow cooker. So we've got a cup of soy sauce, cup and a half of brown sugar, a cup and a half of beef broth, I have a tablespoon of garlic, a tablespoon of gochujang, which is a Korean fermented paste, really, really flavorful, fragrant, some, um, a teaspoon of uh, sesame oil. Now, feel free to add more. I definitely find that sesame oil is one of those ingredients that is very, very strong and can really take over your whole dish. So if you love it, add more. And then I've got a tablespoon of a sambal leek, which is a spicy garlic um, mix. So that's basically our, our uh, sauce base. So we're gonna get that starting to warm up here. Oh, I'm gonna add my onion actually. There we go. So this is truly something that you can, if you've got an extra 20 minutes in the morning before you go to work, this is something you could whip together, throw on low, and by the time you get home after your long day at work and you pick up the kids or whatever, your meal's basically done. It's served with, over rice, ideally, which is amazing, uh, basmati or jasmine rice, or you could even do it over uh, noodles if you like. So I'm gonna throw a glove on here and I'm gonna um, take care of this beef. What we're gonna do is we're gonna chunk up this beef and we're gonna throw it into this Ziploc bag that has a quarter cup of cornstarch. Then we're gonna give it a shake and a toss. That cornstarch will help coat our beef, but will also help thicken up our sauce. So I'm just gonna start out with cutting these into medallions. And then I'm just gonna cut them into chunks. Now I see some, there is some fat on this. I, I tend to trim it off. I know uh, some people think it takes away a lot of the flavor, but I just don't like chewing on gnarly fat. So these are in roughly half inch to three quarter inch cubes. So we're gonna do that for the entire um, beef here. All right, so just finishing up the last couple chunks here. This beef uh, already feels pretty tender, which is nice. And obviously it's sitting in the slow cooker for, you know, six or seven hours. That beef should really, uh, really become nice and tender. So we're gonna add those last pieces to our bag. I'm gonna pop this glove off here. And what we're gonna do with this bag is we're gonna seal it, but we're gonna leave a lot of air in it so we have some movement for the uh, beef to bounce around. So we're basically just gonna shake that around, do our best to coat that beef. So you may find at the, uh, towards the end of your cook, you may find your sauce still a little bit loose or a little bit thin. Uh, I highly recommend making a quick slurry. And what a slurry is, is basically cornstarch and water. So you put two, three tablespoons of cornstarch, three, four tablespoons of cold water, mix it up. Initially it's kind of pasty, but if you keep mixing it, it becomes thin. Add that to your sauce, it'll really help thicken it up. So we'll open this back up here again. And we're just gonna start to add our beef and make a mess. So let's get that beef down in that sauce. We'll see some of the pieces kind of stick together already because the cornstarch can be a little bit gummy. I should add as well, perfect garnish for this, thin slivers of green onion, scallions, or, and uh, sesame seeds, and then a, bit, a little bit of chili flakes if you like to ramp up the heat. Overall, amazing dish, very quick to make. This size that we made today would be good for probably two to three people. If your family's bigger or if you have a bigger group to serve, just double the recipe. So there you have it. Very quick, Korean inspired 
beef dish in a slow cooker. Hope you enjoyed it, we'll see you on the next one.